द स्टोरी ऑफ एमरजेंस ऑफ लाइफ फाइंड्स एन अनएक्सप्लेन्ड होल इन द मिडल ऑन वन साइड इज द टीमिंग पॉपुलेशन ऑफ आर्किया बैक्टीरिया एंड वायरसेस दैट ऑक्यूपाइड एवरी पार्ट ऑफ द ग्लोब फॉर ओवर टू बिलियन ईयर्स विद नो कॉम्प्लेक्स लाइफ फॉर्म्स अराउंड बट बैक्टीरिया रिमेन बैक्टीरिया फॉर एवर नेवर एवॉल्व इन टू एनी थिंग एल्स नेवर क्रॉसड दिस डिवाइड एंड देन अवर फर्स्ट एंसेस्टर अपीयर्स ऑन सीन ए मॉडर्न सेल द यू कैरियट एंड गोज ऑन टू एवॉल्व इन टू न्यू स्पीसीज ऑफ प्लांट्स एनिमल्स eventually leading to us so what constrained bacteria to not cross this divide and how did our first ancestor came into being let's find these answers both bacteria and archaea are constrained due to their biology the constraint lies in their internal structure and the way they generate energy to live bacteria generate energy through their cell wall or the outer surface consider them as three dimensional box they generate energy from their outer wall which is the surface area while they have to feed all activities of their body which is the inside volume of bacteria the problem comes with the growth in size if a bacteria grows four times from its average size it can generate four times more energy through its outer wall but its energy requirement for its internal volume will grow 16 times it cannot meet its energy demand because it has four times less energy then what it needs compared to bacteria an average sized eukaryote cell that is our cell is 15000 times larger in volume for a bacteria to grow to that size it will fall many times short of energy requirement it just would not survive there is another factor as well as the bacteria grows larger its genome size increases to support increased metabolic requirements larger genes take more time to copy during cell division and cell division slows down for copying to complete this means slower reproduction which means lesser numbers and this makes it lose out to other small sized competitors that replicate faster and get to the food first as variations emerge for larger size or complexity in bacteria that bacterial generation becomes less competitive and does not survive both these aspects constrain bacteria to remain efficient in a small size and not become large or complex in their biology that is why bacteria could never evolve into anything else but the modern cell that appeared had an internalized system for energy production it had internal organs whose only job was power generation and it could add more copies of these as it became large and complex because of this the modern eukaryotic cell has 200000 times more energy per gene than bacterial cells as they evolve they have enough power to grow large and become more complex that explains continual rise of new species once bacterial shackles were broken and our first ancestors were born this explains why bacteria could not evolve into anything else but then how does our first ancestor with a complex machinery came about this brings us to the biggest mystery of the unexplained hole at the center of life's journey what connects bacteria to our first ancestor across this divide there are only two things we know as a fact first bacteria never evolved into eukaryotes there are no intermediary species between bacteria and eukaryotes that are seen to exist and the second fact is that no one knows where our first ancestor came from the best explanation that scientific community is converging on now is that perhaps looking for the intermediate life forms evolving into our first ancestors was not the right way of looking for answers the crossing over of this void was actually an event an event so special that it happened only once in the history of earth and never occurred again The first complex cells arose when one simple cell an archaea swallowed another bacteria and the union became a useful trait for both where swallowed bacteria received its preferred food inside and produced energy for its host to grow and evolve the relationship turned out to be so symbiotic that over time swallowed bacteria became its part a body organ and the relationship survived because union of simple cells an archaea and bacterium created the first complex cell 
that is why there are no intermediaries seen linking this divide but enough evidence has been found through phylogenetics the tracking of evolutionary history of species and genes to know that complex life arose as a result of one cell swallowing another but it did not just come up from union of two cells the modern cell was an unusual combination of at least 25 different bacterial groups and some archaeal groups it was as if there was a short evolutionary time over which engulfing an accumulation of archaea and bacteria happened eukaryotic cells gene tree shows all these bacterial and archaeal genes branching together within our own cells today the energy producing mitochondria was an acquired independently living bacteria our first ancestor is an assembly of those constrained bacterial and archaeal cells working now in tandem to create the most efficient machine we have ever seen it was as if from a huge pile of random parts some were selected to assemble a precision watch but the fact remains that no one knows exactly how this happened it is not known what conditions caused this event and why it happened just once on earth and never again to create another unusual combination leading to another evolutionary expansion of new species of a different kind of life living alongside us we are all one kind of life we are all a product of just one such event the assembly of our first ancestor from this point and onwards in last 1.8 billion years life was never created from scratch on earth our first ancestor was assembled and every other descendant came from a living being just like using an already burning candle to light many others the answer we are searching for is when was the first burning candle created on earth but bacteria and archaea were living way before our first ancestor how did they originate their emergence has been traced to a last universal common ancestor or luca there are credible theories to explain self emergence of life or of luca on earth like primordial soup theory rna word hydrothermal vents under deep oceans and few others but they are just that credible theories with no agreement among expert community so the short answer is we do not know yet how life originated as you can see the problem is with understanding the origin of life and of our first ancestor but that does not prevent us from understanding what life is apart from the theory of a divine being creating life from scratch at will there are other theories of life emerging spontaneously from special conditions on earth today all these theories lack critical evidence and are unable to make testable predictions another theory is of microbial life arriving on earth from space through meteorites if this turns out to be true it would mean that life was never created from scratch on earth it was home delivered and the search to its origin goes for a long haul to look into the never ending space look at it this way we do not know how universe started but that has not prevented us from knowing it from fractions of first seconds of its birth till now master its rules to know everything from atoms to atmosphere to build tools from a spade to spaceships we have same freedom to understand how life works life itself is made up of non living material if you draw a line from non life material to life from a non living piece of rock through naturally occurring elements to organic material that makes all life to bacteria and archaea on to our first ancestor and leading to all life that emerged thereafter which point on this line marks the emergence of life if life as we know it today started from our first ancestor do bacteria and archaea also qualify as life what about viruses or seeds that can remain seeds for hundreds of years and dna are they living or non living in short what can be considered alive that is next in part 3
only then the question of life force can be answered in part 4 because life force should be same inside all living beings no matter what they are but first over to part 3 what is alive